It's a new wrinkle on the use of Botox. Based on success in nerve-related bladder control, researchers find it may replace surgery in difficult cases. The first-line therapy for the overactive bladder is medications. There's some other second and third-line treatment so this is probably going to compete with some of those. It stems from the same wrinkle smoothing effect that paralyzes facial muscles. Doctors believe Botox works in two ways, by blocking the sensory effects from the brain which tells the body it has to go, and blocking the nerve endings responsible for bladder contractions. It's a neurotoxin, and basically it causes paralysis of the muscle. There is a uh, chemical that's released by a nerve ending, and this prevents that chemical from being released. Therefore, the nerve uh, cannot conduct the, tr the transmission of the nerve signal. Currently performed as an inpatient procedure, the Botox is delivered directly into the bladder. Man or woman, doctors insert a scope through the urethra, numb the bladder, and administer a series of shots. We just place the needle into the muscle and we inject equal amount of uh, Botox throughout the bladder. So the, the total is what we call 200 units of Botox. Studies are now looking at replacing injections with one infusion. Either way, the Botox should iron out the problem. We hope to decrease the urgency, frequency, accidents, and also it will be increase their bladder capacity. So that, that's our hope. So we hope that patients improve in one, all, or some of these uh, symptoms. As in all uses of Botox, the effect is temporary and needs repeating. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.